I'm... Shh, 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 shh. Do you hear? Do you hear that? The funeral Sorry, the song silence. is being played in kazoo. <laughs> Insert what? Cough. The, Insert the funeral cough. song is being played in kazoo. Insert oh. coughing oh. dance meme. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Shout Us Up Bad, episode 48. You're so mean. You're so mean. We I needed that laugh. So I wish Whoa, I had after, after last that. session, yeah, we did. We yeah. insert coffin dance meme here because someone fucking died last session. Yeah. Because they were an idiot. Noble intentions, Noble less intentions. than smart move. Yeah. Noble intent. Did not play it smart. You two got to relax, though. You guys just got to watch all the matches. Yeah. <laughs> and there, yeah. Then there's me. Then there's me running around like a like a dragon with its head cut off, trying to wonder how the hell I'm supposed to save his ass without and may, being spotted. And may or may not, in the end, have ended up killing him. Okay, live like this. He was two death saves in the. He was already one foot in the grave, anyways. He was at two death saves. If he jumped in the river. He would have been unconscious because he couldn't sustain his rage and he would have taken drowning damage because, spoilers, you can't hold your breath underwater while you're unconscious. <sighs> Alright. So, are you guys ready to hop into this clusterfuck? <laughs> Joe, why so not? not? Let's do it. When last we left the MacGuffin's Team B, where do I begin? That's a good fucking question. <laughs> All right. What isn't it a good fucking question? <laughs> yeah. Now, the party, the the party had managed to escape their situation underwater by waiting for nightfall and using polymorph, rescuing in her in Ziola's magnificent mansion for the night ap after getting it on land. After a brief encounter with the <clears throat> locals, the party mm -hmm. made it into the next port town in order to get lodgings for. Rick Kane's crew and himself in the foreseeable future, as they have no way of ho ho of returning back to Owen said at the moment. They chose a rather unfortunate day to go into town, as it was the day of the sla of, the, of the weekly slave auction, which Tholark, Tartarus, and Typhel chose to witness as to see if Tholark could recognize anyone. When they arrived, they discovered to their horror that Zeola's childhood friend, a wolf, a, a Engaku, oh, one second, I gotta double check the uh, type. Japanese double... word meaning wolf. The wolf, wolf and yokai. Uh, Japanese wolf yokai. Jap uh, the wolf yokai, er, Henjokai, by Ariozu, was working with the assembly of, uh, the assembly of iron. Inogami. The Inogami, Ryozu. Yep. After witnessing the auction, they were also horrified to learn that Morgana Ilmis, sister of Ziola and Tholkia Ilmis, was now the, the property of the, of the Dragonborn Governor. Heskin. We'll be dealing with that soon enough. Speaking of which, yep. in short, in, to try and give her hope, Kaito cast a message, but the call reacted negatively, shocking her, putting everyone on high alert. Tartarus stayed behind in order to try and free some children by buying them and setting them free. Noble intent done executed poorly as Tartarus soon was caught lying during this high risk situation and could not talk his way out of it or bribe his way. He was stuck in combat and tried to flee and despite giving a good long chase, Tartarus the Lizardfolk Barbarian ultimately fell that day and was unable to be resurrected. Although I do get brownie points for trying. You do get... No, with that being said. Mourning their friend's loss. Tythel made it seem as though she was the one who killed Ty Tartarus and gave an audience with the mayor the, the following evening. Now with a way into the mansion. Resting in the... At the... At the fox's ire. The party goes... The party is resting. The party before resting dis discusses their plan. So, you guys are in the end. You guys still are somewhat reeling from the loss of Tartarus. But, and you, and at this moment that Taifel, you walk back in. Obviously there, obviously with a incredibly somber look on her face. Mm -hmm. I take it the deed was done then. She nods without saying a word. I know it can't have been easy for you, Taifel. 
We will make them pay. We will, in time. Meanwhile, I have a way to, I have, a, I have an audience with the mayor tomorrow. You can make a start there, I guess. And maybe. No, I shouldn't think about such selfish things in a time like this. All right. As much as I want to free my sister, if it would compromise our position too much, I can't let that happen. Well, depends on Philip here, because it depends. You're, you're, from what Mother told me in our letter for you, you were good at magic. Are you still good at? I'm pretty. I'm decent at it. I'm. I could probably get my sister out, no problem. It's just such a thing going missing. Such a. She manages to stomach the words, prized possession, going missing with strangers in town, even if they are the killers of heroes of the city for killing Tartarus, might erase some suspicion. Uh. I can't. That's how I got into the. That's how I got into the. That's how I got invited to speak with the mayor. I was told that I could have any any one thing of my choice, and I suggested Morgana. Uh, Tartarus, roll a strength check. Or a huh? save, one of the two. You mean Tythel? So yeah, so Tythel, yes. Yeah. Tythel, roll a strength save. Why? Because you are about. To you're about to go. <laughs> Why are you going to out of the way? You pretty much get floored as a very beyond grateful uh, lump of fur basically glomps, tackles you to the ground in a hug. As, she, as she's laying flat on the ground, she's just like, what are you doing? You are being squeezed, but you can tell there's not any... It's a hug. It's like a it's a dog yeah. pal hug. I know it's a dog she hug. Is. She is really. You can just hear her whispering thank you into your ear over and over and over. Uh, uh, that being said, please get off me. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. She, she Did you? She gets up and patch herself off. Are you actually getting Morgana as your? He says and doesn't say the word, but ends up saying it prize as it were. Well, I spoke to. As she looks towards Ziola, Rio Zil. And I told her that I told him that that's what I that that's what I wanted. He said he couldn't provide it for me directly, but he said he would give me an audience with the mayor tomorrow evening. Okay. Now I may have been slightly metagaming because I forgot if we spoke about this before. And, like, yes, Sir Kier told spoken you. About this. Yes, he did. I, at the end, it was yeah. Yeah. So Ziola again seems kind of downhearted. It's like. Yeah, she seems to retreat into herself for a moment. You hear her, you do, you do manage to hear her mutter, calls him to do such a thing. I don't know, but... More than likely steals work. Possibly. But for now, we can't focus on him. We need to, as she looks towards both um, Zeola and Thulkir, we need to say... We need to come up with a plan to save your sister. I doubt he's going to just let me have her. I might have something to that effect. He pulls out these opesque looking vi like potion bottles. He has three of them. What are those? Uh, literally what I can only have said. I did some shopping. Uh, the changeling bartender gave me some coin in order to use. Nice Hell lady. She is really nice, isn't she? Yes, she is. <laughs> now, but, um, I managed to buy three potions that should turn the user invisible. Invisibility potions, very nice. I see. Tythel, you won't need it because no. you're expected, but if you want backup, the rest of us could sneak in and do whatever. They shouldn't be on too much high alert. No. This, this does seem, this, from what it seems, he told me to dress nice, so this may seem more like a, a formal thing, and if anything else. Look, I don't think any of us really wear anything that would give out too much noise either. Or, uh, like, raise her hand, like, uh, she's in full plate, she's like, I won't be able to help with this. Oh, yeah, sorry, my bad. Yeah. Yeah. But, um... yeah no, st hashtag stealth missions. Yep. Unless, she's a paladin. Uh, unless, uh... <laughs> Is it one of you has the that spell that it was enhanceability or something? Pretty sure it specifically states you have advan it 
you gives you advantage on stealth checks if you choose dex dexterity. Dex checks, but it would just normal it for her, and she's not. It would normal so. it for her. Yeah. It's better than disadvantage, is what I'm saying. It's better than disadvantage, but she still does not have a good dex modifier. Like let me put it like this: she is not meant to be a stealthy girl. She is a paladin. Yeah. She was never trained in stealth. She was raised in a moss in the in a clergy where you know that wasn't a priority. She has no proficiency. She's got nothing. It's just gonna be a straight roll, and it's not a high number. Fair enough. Ellie, how near hand is a rogue? <laughs> yeah, Ellie's so she... the... All right, her... so... Okay, just because I've got to flex, what's her stealth score? Uh, God, give me a moment. I have to look at her sheet. Assuming that it, that she's the, the, the typical rogue and she has expertise in stealth, it's probably high. It's high. Especially at this level. Don't it's get me wrong, it's high. And she is an arcane trickster, so... Does, it, is she, does she beat a 15 in stealth? Because that's what I have. She matches. I think that's about as high as we can get at this level. Because yes. this level, yes, it is. I also have, unless, a, I have expertise in it can, as well. So. Well, yeah, unless you can raise your decks higher. Um, yeah, we both have 20, not easy to do. We both have 20 decks, uh, 5, five <laughs> proficiency bonus, and expertise. So, yes, we both have a 15 in stealth. <laughs> We're both really good. I think so who do you want to give the? Get. So who do you guys want to distribute the potions to? Who do you think needs the potions? Because I am at I Zeola, mean, I'm pretty sure you have invisibility. I have invisibility. If I have both invisibility and greater invisibility. So you should be fine. But you have three potions. Who do you want given to, or do you want to save at least one of them? I definitely think I definitely think Tharkir should uh, or Tholkir should get one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's a he's a, he should be pretty good at stealthy. He's a monk. Probably Arfel as well. You're probably going to need one. Unless we just try the whole pet thing again. <laughs> that would yeah. mean I wouldn't be able to concentrate on invisibility, so... Yeah. You're honestly... Yeah, people have a problem. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I think know. Arfell... Do you have invisibility, Arfell? Uh, let me look in my spells. I don't think I do, but... Mm. Not that I know of, no. I don't. So, uh, he, so he gets one. Yeah, right, Arfell, you have a potion of invisibility. It will basically cast the invisibility spell on you. It lasts for an hour, as long as you don't attack, or, like, you will stay in invisibility. Now, it doesn't silence you, so you will have to still roll self checks. Like, it'll just, right. it'll just be an advantage. Okay. That, and also, the people won't be able to, won't see you if even if they have a direct line of sight. Yes, exactly. Which, which stealth? You can roll a natural fucking twenty on your stealth roll. If they can see you, they can see you. Yes. Okay. Doesn't matter if you roll a nat twenty. That's easy enough. Okay. Uh. So we have we have okay. So who we One have more left? potion to give we out. Have, we have Oriana and Ellie. Ellie is not coming, or one of them isn't coming. Uh, Oriana is not coming because Oriana self is not coming because. I... And on, and I'm gonna be honest. I, I'm probably gonna keep Anna here. I'm probably gonna leave Anna. I'm... Uh, Oriana will watch Anna. So, yeah. yeah. Do you want the Lark and Ellie to come with you? There's only one more potion. So unless someone else has invisibility, mm -hmm. someone's getting left behind. Someone already. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Unless Tythel, do you have invisibility? No. Well, Tythel well, is. No there's no point. Tythel is expected. I, I got invited. I'm expected. Now, to be there. You, yeah, but you can have invisibility could be cast on someone else. I do not have invisibility. I don't even. Is it a sorcerer spell? Pretty sure it is. You check your spell list, but I'm pretty sure you don't. I I don't have it in my spell list, if that's what you're asking. But even then, um, it is a sorcerer spell. I just don't have it. Oh no! Sorry, we can bring someone else along because I can upcast it. I can make up. For every slot level above seconds, I can target one additional person, so I can cast invisibility on two of us if I burn a third level slot. Okay, so your options for people are Arfell, Oriana, Thalark, well, Anna, Ellie. So basically, we could bring everyone if I upcast invisibility. You could, but again, Oriana is not stealthy person at all. Like no, even... no, we, we were saying that there's. You said there was two other people. Beside her, how many people? Are, how many people Ellie are and including Thalark. her? Are Ellie okay. and Thalark. Well, are Ellie healing. and Thalark, they have, but I think I think we said that we gave we gave those two um, potions of invisibility, correct? Yes. So you have one potion left. However, like, and that's going to Arfell. However, you can upcast it, so you have one potion left yeah. if you wish to do that. So, in, not including the one that isn't coming, how many of us are there? 
Not uh, including Anna and the Paladin. Uh, there is one, two, three... Like, that's invisible one, four people who are going to be invisible. Okay, so there's... Yeah, so... We don't need any upcasting, then, if it's only four people, because then there's three potions and one cast of invisibility. All right, then, so... And by the way, to give you Ellie's spell list as an arcane trickster, she had, in case this is going to come in handy, she has Counterspell, Lehman's Tiny Hut, Phantasmal Force, Spider Climb, Shadow Blade, Suggestion, Burning Hands, Disguise Self, Mage Armor, Nice Scythe. Nice Scythe? Nice yeah. Scythe? Ice Knife. You mean yeah. Ice Knife? Yes. <laughs> ice Knife. Yes, I, I figured what spell you meant. Yes. And that, we actually, funny, we have some spells in common. Um... Probably she didn't take oh. invisibility personally. She, she 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 just has like a fatigue install. Like honestly, she's like her. So do I. Is, but invisibility is still useful. She's it's like a pride thing for her. Right, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, when I was building Zero, it's like all the illusion spells. All right. Now, yeah, with yeah, that being said, me. with that being said. Yeah, so, yeah, that's uh, that's that part. So you guys are in green with that? I'm yes. agreeing with that. Now, what are you guys going to do about the governor? Tithel, are you just going to keep him distracted? Do, are you guys going to use any spells on him? What is the plan there? Like, uh... Uh, I mean, well, all right, let me see. I don't think I have any spells for that. You think I would have picked up suggestion? Oh, I do have suggestion. Whoops, I didn't mean to click that. I, have, su I, have, I have suggestion as well. I... Uh... So the problem there is that's also a concentration spell, so I won't be able to cast invisibility and that at the same time. True, but once um, but once like it's up there, uh, like once it's there, you might not need invisibility. <laughs> Depends on how you word it. Yes, potentially. Discuss amongst but, yourselves how you want to use suggestion. But, but then, also, as you say, Tithel won't be concentrating on anything, and Tithel has suggestion tracked. So actually, suggestion isn't even a concentration spell. Yes, it is. It is. For eight hours. Up to eight it hours. Lasts... Oh, it is up. My bad. It yes. However, with that being said, it's basically... Suggestion, the way it works is that it's basically... Oh, hey, you are very magically compelled. You think that's the best idea ever. You're going to follow it. It's a wisdom saving throw. Uh, up to you guys. Like, again, like, you talking game, What do you? what's your plan for... Like, if you want to use suggestion, what would your plan be? Well, I'm gonna be meeting with the gov I'm gonna be meeting with the governor at the start. So Three. I'm gonna tr I'm probably gonna start and see if I can at least I'm gonna see I'm gonna start and see if I can convince him to give me the to give me Morgana. If before not, we, before we start bringing out spells. Before we start bringing out spells, I'm gonna try that. If push comes to shove, I could probably think of a couple ways to use suggestion. Okay, phrasing's everything there, so... And, like, once they complete the suggested action, it's no, it's ended. So the seconds, like, for example, I'm just going to be kind here because you would know how the spell works because you can cast it. If you cast the spell suggestion and say, give us this person, once they give you that person, the spell ends, and then it's like, wait a minute, die! Yeah. So you're going to have to word this carefully. It is still, like, a thing where, like... If... You might want to say something like allow all of us to leave freely because <laughs> that wouldn't take effect until we're out of the mansion that or you know what i mean or like you know or like help us or like help like be of assistance to you like to your party yeah 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 like you have options yeah. be careful have, with that one. i'll have to think of it. It, it it's gonna have to be one of those uh one of those uh in the moment things depending on how things go at the start yeah, that's all that's a, that is a big thing about suggestion is that it's a really it's a really versatile spell. The only thing is that a lot of times you have to word it based on the situation at hand. Yep. yep. All right. So now the question is, do any of us get hit by a dream spell or something in the middle of the night? Oh, you guys are done discussing? You guys are in greens then? Well, we're agreeing that we're going to use the potions of visibility on everyone else. I'm going to cast invisibility on myself. Tythel will speak with the... We'll follow Tythel as closely as we can. We will speak with... Uh, Ziella will mention to Tythel. If there's any particular time we're going through large double doors, try to wait as long as you... Try to move as slowly as you can to give us time to slip through. I'd hate for us to get locked out. I'll do what I can. 
And then beyond that, mm. I guess he'll just try to convince the governor as best you can. I'll hype you up before we get into the major thing. I appreciate it. And that's a question. Invisibility. I know I know it won't work because I'll have to give away that someone's there by talking, but I wonder if does it would it get broken? If you use uh, Bardic Inspiration? It technically or cast a spell, which is none of those are cast it is not attacking or casting. Technically a spell. no, because you're right. It's a class ability. It's akin to using second wind if you're invisible. Yeah. Technically speaking, yeah. because it's not an attack or spell, it does while it is a magical effect, it is not a spell. It's kinda like the counter spell rule where like there are certain yeah. magical things that you can do or innate abilities yeah. that are not so, spells and therefore cannot be dispelled or counterspelled. Yeah. I would have to uh pull that one up out of nowhere but in theory i could I'll, I'll pump you up before the uh before we go in and if the situation gets to that i may be able to you may be able to convince him that it was just me just hearing things i don't know if i have to hype you up again at some point in the during the conversation i appreciate it so we're going to try the normal diplomacy route first yep, yep. And then if that fails, we start bringing out the magic trickery. Alrighty. Alrighty, you guys go to bed. Uh, you sleep in the end. It's a eventful rest. Ziola, secrets. Be good. Ziola. That night you have a similar dream to the one you had before with the woman, Ayana. This time you're in a cottage, wooden, built by hand, an old type of housing. Ayana wakes up. She's in a bed. Her wounds have intended to, bandaged, her arms in a cast, even. She looks around, and as she smells, you begin to smell yourself. You smell the aroma of breakfast foods cooking and sizzling meats it's like you're there the, she gets up strained uh, like having almost limping a little bit but pushing through the pain she goes outside the room to see the katsune from the other day red fur where your black fur is and black hair where your red hair is cooking a meal She just, the kids, again, it's inaudible, but you can see their motions and you see them lip moving. You just see her wave and, like, beckoning Ayana over to the table, like, you know, sit. Ayana looks hesitant at first. And, like, but the kids is, like, insistent, like, uh, like, by movement, it's just basically, oh, come on, come on. And, like, Ayana reluctantly sits down. On the plate are sausages, uh... Which they eat, and Ayana takes like it's like hesitant, like she's like, really looks down, uh, picks it up with uh, chopsticks, and like looks up at her like. Are you sure you're not trying to poison me? Yeah, basically. I mean, she's an Imperion, so odds are she can't be, but she's still like, you know, being cautious. Yes. Uh, she then like the kids in there her eyes, takes her chopsticks, like takes a piece of the like, sausage, and then, like eats a piece herself, and just like, hmm. I then like hesitantly eats it and she's like and you watch as her eyes widen like this is she clearly likes this <laughs> the rest of the interaction is friendly like talking you can't understand it but you can tell by the body language and how some of them laugh even that they're having a decent time the dream ends with them just smiling at each other staring into each other's eyes back to general yeah oh they're back yeah, we're back you guys awake in the next morning in the fox desire. My hand was off the mouse. <laughs> All right. So we wake up the next morning. Well, the uh, you said that you said that the uh, you said that the gathering is not until the evening, correct? Yes. So you have a day to do stuff. We're gonna start with Arfel because you did not do much last session. <laughs> Nope. Nope. Arfel, do you wish to do anything while you're uh, in this town? Um, he keep himself to himself and try not draw attention. All right, you just hear in your head, "Hey, you doing okay?" Yeah. 
I'm going okay, it's just this place is not nice. It's making me uncomfortable. Yeah, it fucking sucks. It used to be nice. Like, yeah. they used to, uh, actually, further down, there were these things called cherry trees, where cherry blossoms, like, they had these leaves called cherry blossoms. Should be around this time of year. They used to, you know, fly down. Those are nice. Oh my god. Yes, I beat this thing off Japanese culture. Hacking, hacking Sakura Street over here. Oh, uh, fucking cherry blossoms. <laughs> We can. It sounds. It sounds nice. Yeah, it was. Hopefully, we can help these people. Probably. Uh, I just hope I don't get caught. Hey, you'll be fine. You're too smart for them. They're dumb. And off I would just continue walking, walking, looking around, and head back to the inn. Okay, uh, yep, you keep yourself low, make sure no one sees you. You're small enough that you can, so it's fine. Ziola, because again, you didn't do much last session, is there anything you want to do this before mansion? Okay, before, okay, first before she heads out, she's going to assume human form. Yes. Obviously. Yes. And then... I'm actually going to burn a first level slot. I'm going to cast Disguise Self on myself. Alright, what do you look like? Uh, basically, I make myself look a uh, little bit shorter. I decided to beef myself up a little bit, because I'm known for you know, almost graceful dance-like movements. Mm. So, so I make myself look a bit more aggressive, bulkier, and I change my hair color to brown. Okay. And I also, also, also de-stylize it a bit, so it's not as... Basically standard farmer woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I changed my clothes to match. Yep. All right. Uh, what do you wish to do in town? I'm going to... Uh, first of all, I'm going to look for an alchemist or anything similar. Investigation check. Because I have a great track record of these... With advantage, because this is your homeland, and certain things do call out to you more familiarly. Uh, let's see. 18. 19, uh, 18 even. Noise. You find it. You find, uh... Yeah, you find, uh, after about, like, 15 minutes of wandering, you do find an alchemist shop called... God, where are my notes? Because I have a fun name for this. So rude. Where are my notes? <laughs> yeah. uh, do, do, do. The notes ah, right. Right, right. Here we go. The Nutty Squirrels. The Nutty Squirrels potions. Of course, it's called Damn the Nutty Squirrel. Damn it, y'all done. Zero's gonna walk in, obviously. Uh, you uh, see a older human gentleman, looks to be in about his 60s. Uh, Thick beard, uh, bald, however. Think, like, in order to describe the facial structure, think Walter White in Breaking Bad. Like, that's the kind of guy you're dealing with here. So Except he older. Says, says to the one who's never seen Breaking Bad. Um, I can Google it, though. Brian Cranston. Just think Brian Cranston. Brian Cranston, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking of his name for a second. I was like, yeah, bald, yeah. thick <laughs> beard, like, goatee, like, uh, no sideburns. It's just mustache and goatee. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Greetings, sir. She does a small, like, nod of her head. Nope. Uh, does the uh, shop have, like, things on display? Yes, like, it on does. Shelves, or... Yeah, it has several vials of potions. Zero right. is going to browse them specifically. They have various liquids, but no labels. Strange one. Do you not label your creations, or...? Well, in case some thieves or unjoke I try to steal, I figured if they're not knowledgeable, they're just... they're not gonna get what they're looking for. Smart. Very well... very well said. Excuse Besides, me. this way, uh... I can explain certain aspects of the potion. 
Okay, so... I'm gonna just check if this thing I'm thinking of actually exists. Something like this. On moment. Our... That's what we look like. Basically, yeah. No glasses, though. <laughs> yeah. That's Brian Cranston Fury. Okay. Uh, give me all around. Okay. Oh, yeah, I recognize that face. Okay. <laughs> yep. I recognize that. Uh, I was just wondering, because I have, I have a certain someone that I need information out of. I was wondering if you possibly had a possibly had a potion of suggestion or anything along those lines. Well, I'm not exactly the name, but uh, I do have a potion of I do have a potion of truth. No, it's not a guaranteed work. It depends on the will of the individual. Quite, quite. Much like the spell. Yes. Uh, it is difficult to make. I do have, like, I have one in the back. But the law does require me what you are using this for. What do you tend to use this for? Can't exactly sell that to everyone. You understand? Oh, of course, of course. Uh, we have a... Unfortunately, I cannot reveal too much of my mission either. Very sensitive information, I'm sure you're aware. Things like, you know, people... We don't mission. want the wrong ears... We don't want the wrong Wait, ears snooping he in. He, like, can't agree to it. Are you a member of the Assembly? Now that's top secret information. Deception. I'm actually decent at these. Nice. 24? Yep. He just looks at you and like get, goes in the back. Here, here. Um, put in a good word for uh, me at the, the assembly. I have provided my services to the governing body. I trust that we will look favorably upon your report. Absolutely. I wish you a good day. You as well. You as well. He just, like, weighs you off nervously, because, you know. Yeah. You live in a totalitarian dictatorship where you do benefit off of slave labor, but you could easily wind up in said slave labor. You piss off the wrong people. So basically, it's yeah. like a, take it! Go! Bye! Have a good day! <laughs> Please don't send me to jail. <laughs> don't, oh, don't God. To jail! You have a potion of truth. The, it that. is... It is a DC-15 wisdom saving throw, because it's that guy who made it. Okay. Not quite what I was after, but it will work pretty well. Yeah. I was thinking rather than the magic route, if we're drinking, we might be able to slip it into his drink or something. Yeah, well, you can. It's a very clear liquid, notably. It's supposed to look like it blends in. Like, it adapts to yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for that very reason. Yeah. Now, yep. So, if that, if we, uh, if diplomacy fails, we can at least try that first. <laughs> Yep. All right. Anything else you wish to do? Uh, what else do I wish to do? Basically, it has the effects of Zone of Truth, so basically he doesn't yeah. have to answer, but he won't be aware of it for the first one. Yeah. And the, the only downside is that you don't know if it works or not. You won't know if it yeah. works or not until you ask him, like, questions that he would normally not be truthful about. Yep. So there is a gamble yeah, with that. Yeah. yeah. But insurance is insurance. Yep. Uh, then I guess at that point she'll just. Uh, it, um, how? Okay. The can we see the mansion from where we are? Like, I'm not uh, asking perception. Go, I'm not asking to go. I'm not asking to go like right up to it. I'm just no, no, no. Perception. I can see the general uh, location. If. Mm. Unfortunately, where you're at, because. Again, like, I don't have an entire city laid out, so yeah, I usually use ejects. The buildings are kind of in your way. You won't be able to see it. However, if you ask around, you would find out that it's, like, on a hill overlooking the town up top. Basically, yeah. you know, the, the symbology there is obvious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she would ask around. Mm -hmm. And then she yeah, would, you uh... would... You would hear rumors, like, like some people are like, oh, he's a benevolent person. Like, all good things. Like, uncannily good things. Uh, she will then head towards the game as close as she can without triggering an alarm or anything. 
Now, if a guard tells her to back off or whatever, she will oblige. But she just wants to get a look at the outside, plot, plot for possible emergency exits. If like, how many windows are there? What constellations? Uh, the the mansion itself is forty feet tall. With it seems to be two stories, uh, based on the window locations. Uh, there are windows all around. Uh, the mansion itself, like, uh, there are stairs leading up to the entrance with a stone pathway to it. It's a very decent garden, though some of it looks like it's dying as if it's been not well kept. Uh, there are guard stations all around. Uh, to the left side of it is a circular tower that's, like, you know, circular tower, like, cylinderless, like, structure. Mm -hmm. And then, notably up top, there are areas on the roof where... The, where it's not like a one-to-one -one layout, where some things are more curved in, as if, like, you know, the roof is allowed to breathe a little. So, like, for example, um, like, on the right side, like, some of the roof is indented a little, so there's, like, a circle on top, and then, like, an extended pathway where, like, it's clear, like, there's, like, structure, and then another square of building, like, and as soon as you get within 100 feet, a uh, guard walks up to you, human, uh, unassuming look, like blonde hair, blue eyes, just for the sake of, you know. Yeah, Oi, yeah. you, mail's not, mail's not scheduled to have any special visitors today. Look her off. As you wish, sir. I just wanted to admire the architecture, that is all. I'm. You can admire it from liable. downtown, ma'am. You can admire it from the city, ma'am. Now please leave. She nods and leaves. All right. Yep. And then, do I... Do I burn this? Do I burn oh, this? Oh, sod it. Mm -hmm. As you know, we're in an area of shapeshifters. That would be too obvious. No, that would be fine. I'll head back to the inn then. All right. And then finally, Tythel, do you wish to do anything today? All right. Tythel is going to... In the morning, she's going to... She's going to check up. She's going to... Check up on Anna, make sure that everything's all right. She's, she's sleeping she's in. Okay. She's kind of unaware of what the situation is at the moment. Yeah. So, so she gets up. She just, she just, she just rubs Anna's head while she's while she's resting. And then, uh, mm. then she's going to she's going to see if there's a, a magic shop nearby. Investigation. I did not want to use my natural 20 for an investigation check. Well, you find it. <laughs> All right. So she, so uh, she's going to go in. Uh, uh, you she... walk. It's five minutes. You see a... Uh, you see a shop called... God, I hate my puns. The Pig's <sighs> Feast. I love how a magic shop is called the Pig's Feast. And an alchemist shop is called the Squirrel's Nut. The Nutty, the, the nutty yeah. Squirrel. The Nutty Squirrel's Potions. Uh, okay, the pig, the Pig's Feast, is that like a fucking Willow reference yeah. or something? Uh, no, it's just like, it's just, I wanted a couple of animal puns. I was like, and the full name of the place is called The, pig, the Pig's Feast of the, Arc or the, of the Arcanum and the Unknown. You basically, there's an awful lot of stuff in here. You would think, as you walk in, you notice there isn't much in there. Well, so, but what I meant to say is that's the idea the name gives off. Yes. As you walk in, there are, like, some cloaks on display, but, like, it, it appears it's more like a back-of-house shop. Uh, uh, well, who do I see at the, who do I see at the counter? You see a, uh, a man, uh, think, like, I think uh, Severus Snape looking man, long black hair, uh, kind of dad bod, uh, looks to be in his 40s. A bit of wrinkles here and there, but like nothing like advanced aging. His hair itself okay, so like is unnaturally so, black, so, so, like it's shiny so black. Okay, so is Severus Snape from Harry Potter really let himself go? Got it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way I can describe it. If Severus Snape let himself go. Love it. Anyways. The call never bothered him anyway. Yeah, like, yeah, but anyway, like if, anyways, you uh, he looks up. Oh, welcome. Hello. I. What can I get I for you? 
I wanted to see if you happen to have any, uh... Also, any... we no longer create homunculus for one... We no longer create homunculus here for a user. We stopped doing that after the squirrel incident. Uh, uh, I wasn't asking for that, but okay. Wait, squirrel incident? Yeah, squirrel Yeah, I incident. was thinking. I was, I was, I was saying that out I worked, I worked, my, me and my older brother used to own a shop like a couple of decades ago. And unfortunately, we created something. You Don't worry about it. You'll never encounter it. Let me guess, was it a bunch of sentient squirrels asking for food? No, it was one sentient squirrel. It just multiplied. So you oh, have a Oh, I think I remember you telling me. Did, did these squirrels almost get turned into Squirrel vampires once? Oh, they did get turned into vampires. Oh, I don't think I ate! <laughs> yeah. So, so Tidal looks, the, the looks to the side, she's like, Oh. So that's, Wait, you encountered it? The but they went to... Odin's dead. He's just standing there still for a moment. <laughs> what do you do, Tethel? He's dead. <laughs> what do you do? You got a minute before he does something. Fuck, give me a- Damn it! Really? <laughs> You had to do this now! <laughs> You're the one who was like, oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh. 30 seconds. <laughs> Shit. Um. You're a traveler. Wait, what was it? What were you saying, Zeal? No matter. Traveler. I'm going to shut myself up, but that is. Look, listen. <laughs> listen. Uh, listen, I'm. I was only traveling there, okay? Deception. Not... I mean, technically, she's not lying. She just traveled. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? She was... I will give you one thing to do before this guy, like, is about to run through the back. <laughs> I'm gonna cast... I'm gonna cast Suggestion on him. At disadvantage. Well... That's his advantage danger, but he rolled an actual twenty, and then it went down to an to a three. What do you, what's the suggestion? Believe me when I say I've only traveled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have. Okay, okay. Sorry, it's just. I apologize. We're all at all edge. Confusion. Odin's there just sent an airship, and we saw the cannon go off, and well, you know. Demo Odinstidians, barbarians, all of them. Yeah. Wow, I, my heart skipped a beat when you were like, what do you do? I was like, oh, fuck! By the way, it only lasts for eight hours, so you might want to take care of this guy before you uh, leave. I'm just gonna let you know that, because once the suggestion is over, he'll be back to his senses. Yeah. Anyways, how can I help you? I just wanted to see if you happen to have any rings of protection. Unfortunately, we only have mundane items. I can get you a cloak that billows in the wind. Oh, well, that's not really going to help me. All right, what about a... Hmm. He just looks through the back. Uh, what about an orb that tells the time? An orb of time telling, really? Yeah. Really? This guy has all mundane <laughs> items. Yeah. Of course, Victor Steele would keep all the best stuff for himself. Yeah! Again, totalitarian state! <laughs> Makes sense, I suppose. Armor that shines. Oh, yeah. Give that to a paladin to give them an ego boost. Oh, with the capability? Yeah. I meant the armor that shines. Yeah. <laughs> Look at my righteous power! Yep. Uh... I th thank you for the offer, but the cloak was, or the ring was really what I was looking for. Oh, well, apologies then. By the way, did you do anything to try and persuade this guy about anything before the thing ends? Because you only have eight hours, and once it ends, you know, you're not exactly hard to spot from a crowd. Yeah, yeah uh, okay, so... Limbs. This is fucking hell. I'm gonna do this. How do I persuade him? How am I, what am I gonna... Do you have him, I mean, 
Roll me an insight check. All right. It's off 20. He's a shop owner. He probably doesn't get a lot of business because of how, let's be fair, sucky his items are. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I think I know what I'm going to do. Okay. I am going to... You're going to. Let me think about how I want to say this. Just give me a quick second. One eternity later. Shut up. I love how quick that shut up was. She is going. Okay, so she's going to pull out her frost. Okay. His eyes widen. The mind. I can, I can see that you're... I can see that you have been having some... Some issues in terms of the items you can sell. Well, I could trade this into the assembly for nice profit, but unfortunately I don't think I can afford such an item. <laughs> she... She sticks it... She sticks it... She hands it over to him. You never saw me. Do you understand? Persuasion with advantage. 25. Who are you? Oh, you must be the person picking up that talking doll. Unfortunate for the daughter and kid and son. Unfortunate. Yes. yes, you're that human individual. Well, unfortunately, I had an incident earlier where, unfortunately, the doll just says, Vesa, well, just pick it up. He presents you this, like, Annabelle looking doll, like this, you know. What is, what is that? Just just pick it up. You'll understand the defect. She'll pick it up. I'll use I'll I'll cut off your scales and use them as a coat. She st she puts it on the she puts it, it only, on the table. It only threatens. It only threatens. It 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 only makes threats. Uh, it shows if you want it. Uh, earlier you came in upset at me and slapped me across the face, but I believe your mind has changed a little since then. I admit you do you have put on a change of clothes. But yes, I believe that that will be the nature of our business. And thank you for finding this item, sir. Thank, thank you. Do you take the yeah, doll? She, she'll take the doll. Fuck it. Let's do, I'll, okay, use let's your, do I'll use your fins as a sail for my mini boat. Let's, now we can threaten does it him. Does it constantly just say that? Or does every it, does five it minutes, constantly make threats? It, at, every, it, as long as you hold it, every five minutes it makes a new threat. So, are we saying we could maybe... We might be able to threaten the mayor with the quote-unquote haunted doll. I'll use your wings as a glider. Oh, I'm curious yeah, to what you say to, like, Leola. <laughs> I'll turn your Tidal. fur into a scarf. Tidal, Tidal walks... Tidal walks back... Tidal goes to Leola back at the end. Here, a gift for you as she hands, hands you the doll. Yeah, it's like this... <laughs> it's just like this straw me it's like this you know very cloth wool doll that looks like like a beautiful woman human girl and like you know it has yeah. the pigtails and like the red like the red little yeah 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 it's as you uh, inside those hands do you take it <laughs> might as well she'll be curious as you pick it up here i'll use your fur as a scarf and the rest of it as a as a bathroom rug what in the fuck have you acquired <laughs> Tidal starts backing away slowly. She's like, something I have no intention of keeping. Leona will punt it back at you. picks it up. As you pick it up, I'll suffocate you with your hat and watch the life leave your eyes. How the dog's in? The hell? Damn it, I went. I went looking for a ring of protection. You have a hot, you have a doll of threatening. <laughs> every it requires no two bit. Every five minutes, depending on who holds it, it makes a new threat based on whoever wields it. 
Oh my god. That, that, <laughs> image, that image you just put about having a tattoo wields it, just someone swinging the doll around like a. Also, the message is telepathic. The message is telepathic. Oh, no, no, no. It isn't. It's vocal, uh -huh. but the mouth doesn't move. It just You just hear it. It's like. It's like you pulled a string on Woody. Except yeah, I would, I, I, would advise, I would advise that no one hold, no one keep that on them when we when we sneak into the mansion because it's vocal. Arfel, do you let it go or do you keep holding on to it? Dropped <laughs> it. Yeah, it Wait, just okay. Zella, Zella, what the, like, maybe although if we can get it in and it keeps its mouth shut, it's just you have to hold um, it and you have, it has to be physically in your contents oh, and on. you can put it in your bag or something. But then I'll, well, she'll find that out in a minute. But it's like, if we could get it inside and sh and get it to shut its m and it keeps its mouth shut, maybe we could use it to creep the owner out. You have you, have, Zeola, You have mage hand, correct? I do. <laughs> I do not know if you guys were going. To... I have not. Look, here's the thing. I have no idea if you guys were going to find that shop, but I was like, please find it, because this is the stupidest item I could create this campaign. That's so kind of fun. Yeah, that's brilliant. Damn yeah, it, I, I can... I have Mage Hand. I could cast that. And also, Richard, you don't get the judge after Tuesday. What do you mean? You know what I mean. Oh, right. <laughs> Anyways. Well, well, I'm, well, I'm mad, because I was, I, was, I was planning on eventually giving Zeola that frost brand, but now you have a doll. Oh well, I can wait. You as this. you hold on to it again, as you pick it up, you hear. You hear. Your heart will be will be my new dinner plate, and my dinner. That one doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> this the is so. Up. This is so stupid. <laughs> yet honestly, we could probably make use of this later. Yeah, on. it's stupid, but that's a practical use. There is a method to my stupidity when I want to be stupid. You know, Zilla will put it in her bag to test if it shuts its mouth when it's not in contact with people. After five minutes, you don't hear anything. Correct. You will actually, then actually, real quick, yeah, check and, you, check and see if Mage Hand works on it. I was about to say, I will then as you As you use Mage, Mage Hand, Hand, nothing happens. This may work to our advantage. Do you drop it into your hands again? <laughs> no, I put it back into my bag. Drop it into my hands. No, I put it back in my bag. We've had, oh. all had enough of... Uh, Listen, if you if if you leave a creepy ass doll in the middle of a mansion, and someone picks it up and starts saying threatening shit like that, you can imagine the terror that's gonna be on their face. I'll oh show, yeah. I'll shove all your pennies down your throat and watch as you go, and watch as you suffocate on your wealth. Wow, that's actually a really that's a really intimidating threat. <laughs> that's dark. <laughs> that's it's dark. a dark doll. He made a mistake. Was like, who the what the did he roll a nat what on his item creation yes! check? Yes, he did. <laughs> oh my day, he rolled a nat fucking one. Yep. Oh. I rolled to see like if this doll was gonna be a talking doll. I was like, okay, I'll see if he creates it. Nope. But I was like, nat no, one. not failure. The worst fan of failure. The wrong kind of success. <laughs> a, a raw, a bad success. Yep. So you guys <laughs> wait for all right. You guys wait, and nightfall arises. Tithel, as sunset approaches, do you begin to make your way to the mayor's, to the governor's home? Yes. I assume that I'm wearing my standard, my, my regular clothes, or am I wearing... That Up to you. Blue... It, it, Actually, dress question... nice. He did say dress nice. So, I think I will, I will be wearing, um... Not that it matters, you're not a paladin anymore. <laughs> yeah, so at that point, you know, she had to dress nice, so she's wearing that blue dress from the... Before from we the all turn invisible, Zero comes up to you and says, Tytel, might I say, you look lovely in that dress. It really suits you. Yeah, good to know that, good to yeah. know that I'm wearing this in a celebration of Tartarus's death. Don't see it as that. See it as the start of a new beginning. Besides, better. besides, if we're going to be fair here, he, he's got himself over. Not helping. He tried to kill me when we first met him. I really don't care. But then Still not helping. I'm leaving, has uh, Tidal said. Tidal Bye. says. Bye. Ellie just waves at you. So. Tidal stops and says just bye to Anna. She says bye. I love you. Bye, Bonnie. You be safe. Bye, bye, bye. You be safe, okay? No promises. Please <laughs> promise me you'll be safe. No. 
The friggin' Kaysona is having a really bad influence on this trial. Sure, let's blame Kaysona for this. Yeah, let's say Kaysona. She, she looks at her. Fine! Thank you. That's I a, want you to be safe. She puts her hand on she puts her hand on the side of Anna's Anna's face. I want you to be safe. I I couldn't live with myself if you got hurt, okay? Fine. As she leaves, um she looks at she looks at Oriana. You can, you take care of her, okay? I will. Don't worry. All right. Don't let her get don't let her get How drunk, far away do. do you follow Tythel? It's about a thirty minute walk to the mansion from the inn. How far away do you walk from there? Like, how? What's the di what's the pace you want to keep away from her? I think it would be best if we uh did like a ten foot. I'd or say something. a little further than ten that. Feet. Ten feet, uh, further back. I'd say probably around um uh twenty five, thirty I'd say, feet. I say at least thirty okay. feet. All right, close enough. We can run up to her if shit goes down, but far enough away that we're not going to yeah. be suspicious. Alrighty. And whatever you do, don't keep looking at her. Okay. Alrighty. You guys drink the potions. The only cast a spell. I need you guys to roll self check with advantage. Okay. I want to say Harry that. And Ellie did well. I want to. I want to say that using Ziola's before they all left, Ziola would mention like. Exactly when she got accosted by the guard, so drink the potion a little bit before then. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Ugh. That on the Jesus other hand. Jesus Christ! It's a group check for the record. This is averages because this is in town. Okay. This is in town. Individual checks will come when you get to the mansion. Shit, shit, shit. Jesus Christ, Zola. All right. That was a 19. Fair enough. I mean, I've rolled stupid high with LR2. So All right, like... you guys walk through the town. You don't manage to draw any attention. Zeal, you notice Arfell's about to bump into someone, but you get them out of the way just in the nick of time. Pay attention. Hey. But you guys make your way. Make your way. Uh, Making our way downtown. Walking fast. Yeah, that's like DMC. That's why, I said, that's why I said copyright at the end as a joke. You guys make your way, and eventually, Taytel, you're in front of the mansion. I'm going to share the map with you. Like I said, this was originally supposed to be a mini dungeon. Jesus. And now we're going in a party member down. Which is why this might be fortuitous, because you might avoid this whole thing altogether. Quite possibly. Yeah, it only took Tartarus dying to skip this mini dun to possibly skip this mini dungeon. You guys hey, walk look, in, you boys. You guys walk in. You take tell you walk up. At this point, you guys don't have to roll a new stealth check. But after that, the guards look at you. Ah, oh, there you are. Uh, you are Miss Tithel Mosia, yes? No, she made she used a different alias. What would you have used? She Anna. she had, remember uh, she used Anna Marcia. Oh yeah, you are Anna Marcia, yes? Let's get this over with. Sure. All right, all right. This is a rare honor. Be more excited. We will escort you to the governor. He is in the dining room. Very well. As she, uh, two as of the guards, forward. two of the guards escort you. I'm going to reveal the map. Now, part of the mess recent last week that his former slave created quite the mess in the mansion. We have yet to clean it up. Yeah, that's a mess. She, so a shattered chandelier. She goes, one hell of a mess. Yeah, the uh, the slave in question was a bit of a spellcaster, sorceress, and their their vile ways. I see. Yes. Well, follow us at the back. The dining room is in a separate section of the house. Very well, and she will. She will. Uh, she's gonna walk. She's gonna walk slowly through the door, trying to make it seem like she's just looking at them. Like as she walks in, keep go slow to make it seem like she's just kind of looking at the mess and almost making it seem like okay, how okay, so how do I go walk around? Now? All right, everyone, you know the still check you know the, the advantage. Worst. Individual. You know the worst to buy time for us to stealth mm -hmm. in. Yep. Yeah, but she's buying time, but but making it look like Ooh. she's just like looking at the at the mess. Oh. Okay. Uh, those two are fine. Arfell, stealth with advantage. Oh! Nice! Arfell, you took Zeal's advice to heart to sneak in. 
Do you guys wander the mansion, or do you stick close to Tythel? Stick close to Tythel. Okay, so you guys are going to keep way. This will carry over, so like, trust me, you guys rolled stupid well. You guys make your way outside again. Back? Yeah, to this uh, subsection of the house. You hit. Oh, it's, the, like a, it's like a courtyard area. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. where there is okay. a ceiling. And you just, it's a, uh, yeah. The stone, I should have tried this better. The house itself is made of marble and stone-like materials. This is the only area that looks like there was some wood involvement. Sir, uh, Ana Masia, here to see you. Hero, hero of uh, Iron Forge, I believe was the name of this town. Yes, I believe so. One second, I don't check any notes. Yep, hero of Iron Forge, slayer of the lizard folk. Yes, and you're in. You guys, as they open the door, I assume you guys sneak in? Yep. Alright, you guys sneak in. No problem. You see this gentleman in his barbarian-esque attire. You did not have to draw You did not have to draw to dress up for this. I you just look nice as men like, you know, don't look like a slob. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh the governor walks up to you. The table is a nice wooden one, a l and uh he just walks up to you. Oh, so there's Let the savior. Jokes. So here is the savior of my fair town. A pleasure to meet you. And I must she, uh, say, it is nice that heroes. It is nice that heroes truly are as beautiful as the stories tell. He grabs your hand and kisses it on like the forearm. Oh, uh, thank you. All confused. <laughs> I was expecting just a handshake, but oh, for a lady like yourself, regardless. Now, you too. Make sure the chefs prepare the food well. Execute any who fail in their duty. Yes, sir. They seems, leave. A bit ex seems a bit excessive, don't you think? Just for a meal. <laughs> a meal fit for such a queen as yourself. Oh, this no. is only the best. This, this oh, is a no. no. Nice guy, TM. <laughs> yep. It's this guy. It's this asshole. Oh. Uh... He's a nice guy, TM. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, with that said, he pulls out your chair for you to sit. <laughs> uh, she, she takes a seat. Yep, he pushes you in and sits on the opposite end of the table. Hmm. So, oh. what are you doing in Ironforge, anyway? Uh, what was it asking you to cut out? What are, what is a creature like yourself doing in Iron Forge? I'm a I'm a collector of sorts, and I see and I uh, I personally did not have any uh, any slave uh, any prize of my own. Persuasion. And I heard that you were doing some, and I heard you were doing auctions here. Uh, deception. My bad. That's not persuasion. That is deceive. I, me I forgot. I mentioned that I 24. hyped her up. I mentioned that I hyped her up, so she technically does have Vardic inspiration. Okay. She looks at you. Ah, oh, a woman of refined taste as well. Well, we do have a fine selection of prizes, as it were. Name any one, and it should. And w unless it's something we do not have, it should be yours. As I had said to uh, your subordinate, the uh, the wolf. Yesterday, Ryozu. Was... Right, Ryozu. I was looking. I had seen that there was one that you had claimed as your personal prize, oh. and that's the one. I... And that was the one I, uh, I, I would like to have. And that's, and I believe that's why this meeting was set up. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, there is a bit of a situation when it comes to that, and that is. That woman is the daughter of once the champion of their, if you could call them this, people. For, for her to be here is a great prize to Ironforge, a symbol of our efficiency, of our status. To simply give such a prize up is afraid all too, all too damaging to our reputation, even to someone as lovely as you. From what I, from what I saw as I entered... She also seems like a big hindrance if she if she just tried that to That was damage. someone else. 
that was a week ago. This it was only a day ago he got her. That was a week ago. That was my bo- a former slave of mine. Oh, I see. Uh, Wolf Enugami. Enugami, I believe, is what the people call them. He got loose because apparently one of my guards felt sympathetic. Rest assured, they're both executed. My assistant made sure of that. I see. Unfortunately, you... I cannot give you. I cannot give you up the town's most prized possession unless you can give me another one of her children or something of equal value. Well, to your, t- well, to you, what would be considered equal value? Mm-hmm. I, uh, I. Let's see what and she uh, she leans forward and and crosses her hands. What do you say we What do you does say the, we conduct some business then? Does the Mister Burns pose? Yeah. Hmm. What are you off? What are you putting on the table? Speaking of which, can uh, Gio, can I have Diola roll a spell check or something to try and get? Uh, oh, beginning. 